Hi, this is Stephanie Smith, and this is a dietary consultation conducted on the 25th of October, 2020. Alrighty, Laws, how are you going? Good, thanks. That's good. So thank you for uh, coming today. Um, I heard that you wanted to sort of look a little bit more into your dietary habits and um, look at your current nutrition. Mm -hmm. I do have to tell you that my scope of practice is that I'm only allowed to give you guidance based on the Australian uh, sorry the Australian dietary guidelines um, and the servings that you have every day I can sort of go that, through that but I can't actually give you a nutritional plan um, or a basic food plan or anything like that that's something that would have to be referred to a dietitian or a nutritionist mm -hmm. but today we can do a little bit of a survey uh, sorry a questionnaire and go through what you're having every day in terms of your intake and we can discuss that at the end um, also, our bodies require a certain amount of fuel through kilojoules just to basically function every day. So to keep our cardiovascular system running, to breathe, um, if we were to even just rest in bed all day, we need a certain amount of kilojoules to keep us going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just go through a quick questionnaire first. Um, basically, this will just look at the current servings that you're having every day. All right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to ask you um, what a dietary goal would be. Uh, I'd like to cut down on sugar. Yeah, no worries. Uh, do you have any dietary requirements? No. No? Awesome. And looking at how many serves of vegetables you usually eat per day. So, being a serving would be half a cup of cooked vegetables, half a, half a cup of cooked lentils or chickpeas, one cup of salad or vegetables, a medium potato or tomato. We're looking at zero to one, two to three, four to five, or six plus. Two to three. Awesome. And in terms of serves of fruit, so one serve of fruit would be a banana and apple, two small apricots, uh, a cup of diced or canned fruit, or half a cup of fruit juice. Uh, two to three again. Yep, perfect. And looking at your fibre intake, so your breads and your cereals, um, one serve would be um, one slice of bread, a half a cup of rolled oats, half a cup of rice, pasta or noodles, a half a cup of cooked porridge or a quarter of a cup of muesli. Uh, two to three. Yep, perfect. And how many serves of dairy would you consume? So one serve of dairy would be a cup of fresh long life milk, a uh, half cup of evaporated milk, sorry, two slices of cheese, half a cup of ricotta, three quarters of a cup of yogurt, uh, a cup of in, uh, calcium enriched soy rice or other cereal drinks. Uh, that one. Yep, perfect. Now we're looking at meat. So meat's an alternative, so you're also incorporating your nuts and everything into that, sort of your almond butter, your peanut butter, those sorts of things. In terms of your servings, you'd be looking at about 65 grams of red meat, um, 80 grams of chicken, 100 grams of cooked fish, uh, two eggs, one cup of cooked or canned uh, beans or lentils, uh, 170 grams of tofu, seeds or nuts. Probably two to three. Yep, perfect. All right, so now this is the fun bit. <laughs> so your extras, so your ice creams, your chocolate, your wine. Um, we want to look at this over a week span. So how many would you sort of, servings would you have per week? We're looking at zero to three, four to six, seven to nine, or 10 plus. Mm, probably seven to nine. Yep. Okay, no worries. Um, and do you think that, like in terms of, your current diet, do you reckon that you could manage your uh, dietary needs and your food at the moment or do you think you would need a referral? Uh, no, I think I could make a small changes to yeah. improve it. Just need to get the motivation to do that. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. All right, so we're gonna have a look at what um, the Australian standards actually suggest that you should be having as your intake every day. We'll come up with some strategies that you can sort of look at as well um, to help you to assist your goals mm -hmm. in achieving well cutting down on sugar um, as one of your main goals there. So with your um, vegetables, so here is the intake here mm -hmm. or the daily serving, should I say. So for your age, 
we should be having five servings a day of veggies. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do we have? We had two to three there for the daily servings of veggies. So you could probably just, you know, look at incorporating a half a cup of steamed veggies or something to a meal, um, an extra half a cup or um, maybe some meal prep and get some more veggies in through a stir fry or something like that. Mm -hmm. You could look at adding it through that. Yeah. Um, your fruit's pretty much spot on. So for your age, it basically says two servings, which is pretty much what you're doing. So that's great there. Mm -hmm. um, your grains, your foods, and your cereals, um, they suggest for your age group is six. So for you, that's quite low. Um, you could look at potentially adding, you know, some rice or something to like again to surf a stir fry is an easy way to put a heap of veggies in um to get that intake for the day a little bit of rice do you like porridge would you have porridge for breakfast yeah. to add some extra grains into your your daily intake there mm -hmm. yep awesome um your meat's pretty much spot on so i probably wouldn't have to be too concerned there you said sort of that two to three range and that's pretty much spot on there mm -hmm. Um, for your dairy intake, um, it's two and a half, so you probably would need to um, stress too much there, make a few changes here and there. Do you like cheese or like yep. a bit of cheese? Yep. <laughs> Cut up some cheese with some raw veggies as a snack mm -hmm. um, to help with getting those servings in. Yeah. So I'm going to put in some just strategies, like I said, um, to help you to assist with your goals and you can take this away so that you're sort of aware of what we've discussed and what your intake should be. Mm -hmm. um, so giving some goals, what do you think we could do to help with meeting that, do you think? So would you be, like, do you feel that if you prepped your meals it would get you a little bit more organized yeah, and yep. your intake would be a little bit easier to manage. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Um, and in terms of your extras are probably a little bit high in terms of your snacks and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's, you could, um, you know, do you like cutting up some raw veggies and some cheese? I know it's sometimes not always appealing, but uh, <laughs> instead of reaching it. for that piece of, uh, and so in terms of your drinks wise, um, I mean, your goal here is to cut down on sugar. So if you maybe were to reach for a sugary drink, maybe just reaching for a cup of water. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, that's, but otherwise you're doing pretty well. Um, you've got a pretty balanced diet, like diet through your intake of your food and veggies. So now we'll look at, so we're going to look at your basal metabolic rate, so your BMR. So this is the minimum intake that's required to get your body functioning. Mm -hmm. So if you're not to, going to get out of bed for the day, what it would be literally to keep your cardiovascular system running, mm -hmm. for you to breathe, keep you warm. Um, it's basically the kilojoules that your body requires to keep you functioning. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to work that out now. So... Yeah, there's a standard that we go off based on your age to get your BMR. And I got your BMI in a previous challenge. So this will allow, and it came under 25, which allows me to not do a further calculation. Mm-hmm. Rightio, 2,000. Rightio, so 5,986 kilojoules is your basal metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. So to keep your body functioning um, and to keep everything basically running in your body. Mm -hmm. Now, because you obviously, and you've stated in previous um, questionnaires that I've done with you, your activity, um, you like to do a little bit of exercise. And the more exercise that we do, the more fuel our body requires to function. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I've done another um, calculation here that shows the extra kilojoules that your body would require based on your activity, which you've said that you're a moderate activity, which means that we're going to times the um, BMR. So five, nine, eight, six times your moderate activity, which is 1.8, which gives you 10,774.80 kilojoules. 
So that's basically a rough indication of if you wanted to remain at maintenance, you would sort of maintenance weight, sorry, the kilojoules that you would require to keep at that body weight mm -hmm. at a moderate activity would be that 10,000 mark in kilojoules. Mm -hmm. Now, the standard on top of your BMR to so the additional kilojoules needed in addition um, for that original BMR for your age group and the activity level is 3,000. So at least 3,000 extra kilojoules on top of this 5,986 mm -hmm. to obviously keep your body functioning at that moderate activity level. Okay. Obviously, if you're going to be in a deficit, you would come under this amount. Mm -hmm. To remain in a ma uh, maintenance would be around this amount. And yep. if you were to gain weight, you would need to obviously increase the kilojoules slightly mm -hmm. on top of this amount here. Okay. All right. So basically, that's all I really need to do today, mm -hmm. if you're happy with that. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. So